again, everybody. Barry Hyatt here in Scottsville at the UK Extension Office with my good friend Kelly Burgess, who I'm thinking you're going to be doing something featuring strawberries today. Is that right? We are. And you might be thinking it seems a little early for strawberries, Kelly. It's not quite in season yet. But the reason I chose this recipe for today is it is a brand new recipe. Spring plated up. So mm -hmm. it just came out. Um, and this is actually the time of year that you want to start thinking about planting strawberries mm -hmm. if that's something you're interested in. Uh, as early as you can get them in the ground in March mm -hmm. is a good time. Um, the ones that have the runners early are known to produce more berries. So whether it's, yeah. whether it's yours or somebody else's, uh, now's the time to start thinking about it. So maybe this will get you motivated to get started. Well, you know, you know what my motto is? Strawberries are good any time of the year, so I'm totally cool with having a mm -hmm. strawberry salad in March. It's totally good, yes. cool with me. <laughs> All right, well, good deal. We can go ahead and get started. And what are some of the ingredients that we're going to be putting in this salad today? Yes, so of course we have strawberries, and I've sliced up most of those, but I have a few that I've reserved to show you how, how I slice those. Sure. We also have spinach and cabbage. Okay. So you might remember we had cabbage from last month, too. It's we did. still a great vegetable, yeah. so you'll learn how to use it in a new way today. We have grapes, we have golden raisins and toasted pecans, and then we have some separate ingredients for our dressing that we'll talk about in a little while. Sure, and I think you were going to mention this in a moment anyway, but for people who are maybe allergic to the uh, nuts, it, that would be optional. Yes, course. and I think the recipe even says optional, So, or if you'd rather have almonds or you'd rather have cashews, mm -hmm. it is all up to you. We did pecans because that's what we... That's what we had today, but it made it smell great when I toasted them in the uh, oven. <laughs> I bet it did, most certainly. Okay, well, we can go ahead and get started, I guess, then can't we? All right, so this is probably one of the easier recipes we've done in a little sure. bit, but it's truly just a mix your salad ingredients together mm -hmm. and mix our dressing ingredients sure. together. So, um, Barry, I'll grab the spinach if you want to grab the cabbage most and certainly. we'll kind of add them both to this the bowl. Let's just go ahead and mix them and okay. I'll use my tongs to mix them around some, but that way it gets it. Whoops. That, <laughs> we knew that was going to happen, right? Cheers. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Good. All right. So I will mix them around with these tongs. You can mix it with a spoon. I thought the tongs would kind of be a little bit easier, sure. more of a, a tossed salad, if you will. And this is going to be a big salad, isn't it? It is quite large. So mm -hmm. I had to find a different bowl. Then that's, that's the biggest bowl I think we've ever used in the recipe segment here on normally NCTV. Use. And it does, um, so the recipe makes eight servings, okay. um, eight two cup servings. Okay. So you wanna think about that if you were wondering if your bowl is gonna be big enough or not. Mm -hmm. We need it to hold about four quarts or about 16 cups. So this is a big bowl, and this is just, just for everybody to know, obviously this would be, you'd probably want something this big if you're gonna make that much of a salad. Right, and I think about too, there's nothing worse than thinking that your ingredients are gonna fit in a bowl and then you get in the middle mm. of it and it overflows. So yes. it's always better to overestimate your bowl size just a little and, bit. And look how big this bowl is and we've practically got it filled up already. Right. So there you go. Thankfully we have our largest quantity ingredients. It was five right. cups of spinach and half of a head of cabbage. Oh wow, okay. So that's what, um, that's what we've used so far uh, in here. I just used a full bag of mm -hmm. spinach. Sure, um, good deal. So we'll go ahead and top with our Fruits, I think I'm gonna leave them on top of the salad. Okay. Uh, but if you were making it for a party or for your family, you could go ahead and mix the fruits in or sure. you could just kind of top it in general, okay. whatever you prefer okay. visually. We'll see, we'll see how it looks as okay. we go. So do you want the strawberries first? Let's do the strawberries okay. first. All so right. this is gonna there be truly a kind of a sweet and slightly savory salad. Um, we do have our red onions. Uh, but not not too many. So the sweet will definitely be a stronger flavor mm -hmm. than the savory will be. And I'll go ahead and demonstrate. Move this so that you can see. Here we go. Over here for a second. To cut up our few extra strawberries, these have been washed already. An important note is that you always want to wash them before you remove the caps. So mm -hmm. when you remove the caps before you wash it, the water can enter into the berry and it actually changes the flavor and texture a little wow. bit. Wow, I didn't know that. No, so just a little, little fun tidbit. So we can either twist off the caps to mm -hmm. remove them or you can um, cut it with a smaller paring knife or you can just pull the leaves up and 
get right where that color is. So we'll remove the caps from these and you can, you can really slice them any way you want to. There's no rules. It's not going to taste different if you slice it in a new shape. Sure. Um, I like to slice it in the rings for this salad. I just mm -hmm. think that it shows a lot of the, the berry itself. It looks really pretty that way. Which of course what she's talking about is, is this look right here and I'm trying not to tilt it too much but you uh -huh. can kind of see right there. Right. I feel like it really adds to the visual Most appeal. Certainly. So we will add, add those last few stragglers on there. There you go. That'll be good. Perfect. Okay. And then let's put this back here. Sure. And let's say we were going to go with some grapes, I believe. Let's go with grapes and I'll do the raisins sure, at you the go same for time. Well, same time? Okay. These might be a little, we'll use our little scraper to help us out. So <laughs> I thought about it when I was getting it ready. We actually have two forms of grapes on our salad. There's one more. I'll let you get that one. Oh, there we go. A little straggler left yeah. behind. Okay. All right. So those are most of our sweet. It looks so pretty it looks already. Awesome now. Already, yeah. I love sure. it. Okay, let's go ahead and add those purple onions. Okay, sorry. I was trying to get those nuts. And we'll we'll leave the nuts off to the side, but you can add them uh, if you wish. It might even if you do take this dish to a party or a gathering, it might be a good idea to have your nuts in a separate bowl. Mm -hmm. um, just bring a spoon and let people add them as they wish. That way, mm -hmm. you don't inhibit anybody from trying it if they really there want to. There you go. For sure. All right. So now we've got that going. Now it's time for yes. the uh, dressing, isn't it? It is time for our dressing. So, we'll put so this off, we'll put just for a second. Sure. This is going to be kind of a creamier dressing. Okay. We have plain Greek yogurt, okay. um, which I got the non-fat version. Um, so don't let that scare you off. It's not going to taste like I, I'm not a fan of this by itself, but in a right. dressing, sure. um, it really gives you um, that great. You can combine it with ranch dressing mix um, okay. for a different for a different kind of dressing. But if that kind of gives you a little indication, you won't end up tasting right. plain yogurt at the end of the day, thankfully. Now, why are we using a mason jar? We are using a mason jar. Great question, Barry. <laughs> Just for easy mixing. Okay. Um, so with a mason jar, you can put your cap back on it, shake it up, shake it up. and pour it on your salad. Awesome. Yes. Okay. Now for, for canning or food preservation, of course, we would want to use only canning appropriate jars. Mm -hmm. For this, it wouldn't have to be a canning jar. Right. It could right. be a leftover mayonnaise jar that you've cleaned out or something else, but sure. this is what we had on hand today. It'll work. So that was three-fourths cup of plain Greek yogurt. We also have six tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I was already going to be able to predict that because I could smell it. You could smell yeah, it. For sure. <laughs> All right. So we'll add that. We have three tablespoons of honey. Mm -hmm. And a trick that I um, learned recently is that you can spray cooking spray in your cup or whatever you're measuring your honey with. Okay. And that really makes it slide out much easier okay. than it would um, without it. So okay. honey and peanut butter, are two of those ingredients that I just do not enjoy measuring, but that little <laughs> trick makes it a makes lot it better. Easier. Sure. We have three tablespoons of olive oil. Okay, very good. We'll add that in. So this is kind of a, it's kind of a mix between a vinaigrette and a, in a creamy dressing. Sure. So something a little bit for everybody. We have half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. Mm -hmm. Get a little bit more of that. I feel like that goes with the oniony flavor a little mm -hmm. bit more, and sure. the rest kind of goes with the fruit flavor. We have a teaspoon of salt and half a teaspoon of black pepper. Okay, so we'll good. add those in there. Now and the fun part, right? Now the fun part. <laughs> you want to try your sure. hand at it? That honey likes to stick on the bottom a little bit. Might have to give it an upside down spin. I didn't want it to fall out, fall out there. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Actually, that's going to be pretty good, I think. I think so. This may be the first time I've ever shaken a dressing shaken mix a, on the recipe segment here, yeah. I just had this thought now. Um, in most grocery stores, you can also find um, a blender bottle. A lot of people might use it for a protein drink or a post-workout sure, something. Sure. Uh, but that would actually be, they come with a little whisk ball in them. Okay. So that would be, if you were making this at home and you had one of those on hand, they're usually less than $10. 
Uh, yeah. And that might help you mix your dressing. I think that's got it. That Kelly. looks great. I think that's pretty good. All there, right, actually. should we dress our salad? I think maybe it would be time well, to do that. Let's go for this it. This is cool. I'm going to let you do the honors on that, though. Sure. And the other great thing about mixing this in the jar is if you wanted to keep it or you didn't want to dress the whole salad at mm -hmm. one time, sure. you could keep it in your refrigerator and mm -hmm. it would be a appropriate way to store it. Most definitely. So we'll just dress this. Oh, that looks so good. That's pretty cool. And that was so easy. It really was. I mean, the whole thing. Very quick. I mean, quick. the prep time would just be cutting uh, a little bit of the strawberries and uh, your cabbage, I guess, right? For yes. the most part. And it does call for the grapes to be halved as well. Okay, sure. I did have the grapes. Would it be absolutely essential? Probably not. Mm -hmm. But if you think about it, it might make it a little easier to eat. I think if so. If you're trying to stab it with a fork, it would mm -hmm. be a little, they might be more apt to roll away if they weren't yes. halved. But and this is a great nutrient dense salad. Mm -hmm. I mean, we see all of the beautiful colors in here. Uh, strawberries, just half a cup, has 80% of your vitamin C for your daily needs. Mm -hmm. So they're actually the berries yeah. with the highest amount of vitamin C. Also a great source of vitamin A. So is the cabbage and the spinach. So we are just set. It looks good. We're gonna try this here in just a couple of minutes. I bet you money, but anyway. <laughs> if you want the recipe though, it's oh so easy to get. You can get it in a few ways. You can email me at North Central. My email address there is barry.hyatt at nctc.com or simply go to our website. It's www.nctc.com. We have a section there with the recipes on it along with the accompanying video. Kelly also has another way, don't you? Sure, you can put Plate It Up Kentucky Proud in your Google search bar, and you can find us on Facebook at Plate It Up Kentucky Proud. This is a brand new recipe, so uh, go check it out and see what we have for spring. And thanks so much for sharing it and all your hard work on this today. Oh, thanks, Barry, I can't wait to try it. I don't know how much hard work it was, but it was at least a little bit of work, right? Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> Not too hard. Well, guys, thanks so much for watching. Take care, have a rest, great rest of your day. We'll see you back here again really soon.